Howdy folks, this is Jackers back again with another episode of our Conan Exiles Let's Play and we have a lot of ground to cover. Some of this episode has already happened before I even started making this, so we'll edit that in. You may notice this area of my base is a little more vacant. My trebuchet disappeared, I'm not sure. There is a place right around here where the game sort of hung up and glitched. Maybe it was something to do with the trebuchet, or maybe this specific place is on the border of two of the maps. I'm guessing the maps stream data in, which is why there are no loading screens. But, um, yeah, trebuchet just disappeared. It is also possible that NPCs from up on high attacked. We also get attacked by the rock noses. So it's, I suppose, not impossible that they destroy the trebuchet. Maybe it presents a significant target to NPCs. They'll often stand up there as archers and shoot down. Either way, I removed the two other wheel, lesser wheels of pain, and we kind of paved over everything in the right block. So now at least everything matches. Um, now, as I think I said, we have a lot of ground to cover today. Um, some of it, it seems I have mistakenly left behind at a different base. Can't take me anywhere. We did get a new Stygian blacksmith who rolled, I think, a 15 to join the team. And there she is. And she can apparently make an exceptional iron war hammer. But I leveled doing something a little later. And I picked this. So let's have her make one of these for us. Because it's always good to have a one-handed weapon when you're going out for volunteers and you're using the rope. Because if you switch to your two-handed weapon, I think there's too much chance you can lose your volunteer. Alright. And 30 damage, 16% armor penetration. By comparison... 33 damage and 12% armor penetration. So better armor penetration and almost as good damage from the one-handed weapon. I quit carrying a shield for the most part because I never block one of my blind sides, I assume. But anyway, I wanted to show you. So we're all relatively familiar with where this base is, Dust Devil Ridge. This place, Sinner's Refuge. When last we met, I needed a source of thick hide and steel. Thick hide is not something we're going to find down here, but to make steel you use iron ingots with steel fire. To make steel fire you use tar, which is a byproduct of your tannery, and brimstone. So what I really needed was a source of brimstone. And I'll give you three guesses what's in the Sinner's Refuge. Well, you know, aside from Sinner's. So we have to pass a few hyenas here who may decide that they want to come down and play. But, if we successfully make it past them... Oh, hi. We get to go and play with the neighbors. soak up the fire because if I roll I was too close to running out of um, I need arrows <laughs> I, I used a lot of arrows later in this video all right um, can't remember if we need a torch we might no we can get by it's a little dark but this is brimstone okay Just come right on in and mine it. And then take it to your fire cauldron, which is where your medicine man would hang out. If you have one. And that's how you're going to produce your steel fire. Oh, 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 there's a named person. Oh, wow. Nuts. Um, 
Hi, named person. I need to uh, get your friends dead before you, if possible. I can't see well enough. Let's see if we can get him outside. Come on. It's okay to follow. Honest. Okay, that's exactly what we wanted. Now we gotta get the archers. Okay, I think we're gonna knock our friend out here and then we'll roll for her. And she can just... If she doesn't make her roll, she can sleep here. Hello! Okay, Deidre Deathbringer. I'd prefer not to. How about you? Would you like to join our team? It's like one hit and roll. I think that's what we get here. So I may speed this fight up. Have I mentioned that I hate hyenas? choice fight at night or don't fight Goodness, all right. Finally. Let's roll for Deidre. 14, Deidre comes home. Huzzah. Okay, we are not letting go of Deidre here. Um, so, yeah, Sinner's Refuge is where you get Brimstone. And since we have Brimstone in our bag, um, I'm not going to risk Deidre by going back in there. So I will just carry Deidre home and we'll pick up again in a little bit. Okay, so this is, well, all the way up here, past Swagger Rock and the ruins of Almaria. And well, we'll get to there in a moment. This is the boundary spillway where you can see all of the waterfalls here. And we had an epic battle here earlier today with a boss elephant. And you know what? Why don't we take a look at that now? So for, I don't know, probably a couple hours now, I've been shooting at this boss elephant. I know it's a boss elephant because it's killed me. Its name is Thunderfoot. But we're kind of in a unique position here in that he is right next to my base so I can repair and make more arrows occasionally I go down and try and swipe at him with my steel two-handed sword but uh, that has ended up in my death more than once so as slow as this is it's safer so I'll be here for a few more hours and we'll pick up again um, when we're a lot closer to the end here. I'm going to have to go repair my bow again soon. Alrighty. I'm going to back up to stop the recording here. Okay, so we're getting closer 
you can see one of my bodies down there glowing under I think it's thunder hoof or thunder foot I can't remember now I don't know how many days or nights we've been doing this but it's been probably a good two three hours um, of real time I keep making arrows and going for bugs over to the bushes here and I can get water over there but I'm running out of iron back at my base to make arrows so I'm not sure I hopefully won't run out before we finally take this boss elephant down I didn't intend to do this I was there's a city over there that has some folks in it there's a, a blacksmith I go and check every once in a while to see if there's a named one. I've picked up two level 1 blacksmiths on decent 20-sided die rolls, so they did agree to volunteer. And uh, But then this elephant attacked me, and I barely made it, originally I barely made it up onto that rock, and I turned around and took a swipe at him with my two-handed sword, and nothing happened. And so he didn't seem to be able to reach me, so I took a few more swipes. And still nothing seemed to happen, and I realized that I wasn't dealing with a normal elephant. And then I got a little too close and slipped over the edge. And it timed perfectly with one of his swings. And I found out that I'd been killed by Thunder Hoof Foot. Alright, I will pick up again recording when we're much closer to the end. Because I think even at compressed time, this would be like a 10 minute fight left from now. Okay. Okay, we are getting pretty close. I think I'm getting down into my last hundred arrows. Everyone's getting a little overexcited. I can't tell if he's healing or... But... Take a swing here. No. Don't want to fall. That would be bad. My accuracy stat is not good, so I imagine this would go a bit better and over a lot less time if you, uh, improve that. But we're getting so close. Okay, stamina back got carried away there. I just went into my base and repaired my bow and got water. We're running low on bugs. I picked some more meat off the Wheel of Pain. But... I think we're almost there. Come on, arrows, hang in there. on him. Let's uh, skin an, a skeleton key and a lot of hide. 19. Okay, uh, I brought this too. No, not the tusks, but this cleaver. Let's see what he gives out of the cleaver. Ivory. Hide. 
ivory and hide and tusks and a skeleton key I wonder what that does all right well that was uh thunder if I thought we might get a head or something but apparently not I don't know if you have to do something specific for the bigger creatures I was looking at the journey up there where it says obtain the head of a boss creature but maybe it only means like the kind in the dungeons anyway uh, we'll pick up some more a little later okay so that was Thunderhoof or Thunderfoot I'm, I still can't remember but uh, yeah epic battle took place here one of my bodies was down there and this is our northern base and we have a foothold now up above I'm sure there's a better way to get there I built a kind of blocktacular staircase to first get up there and then put an elevator so it would be a bit easier you can actually move captives up and down with the elevator which is awesome because I have a wheel down here but I don't have a wheel up there and this base which originally just started out as this little house structure and some place to keep a bedroll has been evolving so that I have some place to do all the things in this area of the world and don't tell anyone but Benaru Heavy Hands works in both places um, so I'm gonna leave our steel and iron here horn we've got seed We've got another uh, blacksmith here, but just a level one blacksmith. This is a press. This is pretty cool. It makes oil. If you come down, you grab your fish. Fish don't seem to work as well in things like the wheels, or really even, in my experience, as food. So I think you can use your hides in the press to get oil. But honestly, it's, you know, your hides, I think, have more value to you for armor and weapons because there are some weapons that also require armor. So just come over to your press and give it all your fish. And it's an overtime thing. It doesn't get a thrall, but you see it makes oil. And then for oil, if you come over to your, this, it just is the, uh, Carpenter station here is just kind of where I throw things sometimes. But oil and dry wood and resin will get you insulated wood. So we craft one of these and we end up with this. And wood is an abundant source of fuel and building material readily available and easily shaped with the right tools. Wood is ubiquitous in the weapons and buildings of primitive tribes and mighty nation. Wood allows for the creation of fire and is easy to transport. This wood has been treated with resin, making it stronger and more weather resistant. And it is used, although I haven't done it yet, in the insulated wooden foundations. Oh, I should have brought iron reinforcements. I knew there was something I was forgetting. Anyway, uh, in our Wheel of Pain here, we have a named archer, um, uh, Kanchaka of Hyrcania, and we also have a Zamorian Archer 3. Oh, I did make some nicer armor. But I don't use it, and I'll show you why. First, let's just equip it, so you can see what it looks like. Well, I also built... Where did it go? Here it is, a Stygian Spear, which actually isn't too bad. But there is a simple look at the armor. And 320, this is flawless, made by Benaru Heavy Hands. And if we go to our vanity camera, you can get a good look at it. And it is better armor. Uh, I found a way you can actually get an even closer look at some of this, which is kind of cool. We just kind of back up to something. but. You know, the material is, you know, metallic and shiny. It looks good. The problem comes when, say, we're in a fight, and now I want to roll out of the way. I don't roll. Just kind of do that little back step, and it's not usually enough. So you can roll in the heavy and meat, or sorry, the light and medium armors, 
So I've been staying with the flawless medium armor because, you know, that's a pretty big difference. Okay, so let's go check out what's up above. It's slow, but it is definitely preferable to climbing, especially if you have a captive. So I'll speed this up. And this isn't the prettiest build that I've done, leaving the uh, foundation sort of hanging like that. I may fix that one day. I don't really like leaving loopholes in my construction. Logical loopholes, that is. Alrighty, here we are. In the colder north. And let's first take a look at where you get resin. Which is pretty much any tree. There we go. There's our resin starting to come in. And so you get wood and resin. You can take your dry wood, which you get dry wood from the same white trees that you get bark. And the oil, and then you get your insulated wood. I built a little kind of a long house up here. Long, but not very wide. It does have a, uh, a little inset here and a much nicer bed. Um, and a couple candles that I looted from some battle or other. And the reason I built this way is I didn't want to get too close to having basically a source of iron right at my nightstand. I can just kind of walk out here, gather iron, go down the elevator, and be ready to roll. I still do a lot of the steel down south because brimstone is right there in the sinner's refuge. But, but, let's go see what's going on up here. Aside from a much different biome, which is pretty awesome. Honestly, I think this one gives regular wood, but I'm not sure. Yeah. I think you really need those bone white trees, the bleached bone white. Okay, we should be a little careful. One of the journey steps was to scout a black hand camp. And guess what is right over here? What also was right over here was that named archer that's down in the wheel down the elevator. This camp seems to be just a little bit bugged. And the people under the tents, like the fellow that the cursor is pointing at right there, and that one right there, don't seem to take harm while they're under their tent. Let's see if we can get somebody into a fight. Zingaran Archer. Come on, Zingaran Archer. Try our mace out for the first time. But this is a Black Hand camp. I th think they might be raiders, but I'm not entirely sure. They're not overwhelmingly concerned about their fellows, though, so that's good. And you can pick up iron and glass and other things. Actually get a surprising amount of iron from looting bodies. Haborian Archer 2. Yeah, I can understand why you'd feel that way. Let's see if we can... See, I can't hurt him. So, what we need to do is get around something and force him to come to us. This big stone over here will do nicely. Looks like we're going to have to deal with his friend first. Come on, friend! I'm here for everyone. Okay, back behind. Oh, he just 
he just ran uh oh see those uh, black spots on the ground there that's pretty much the warning we get that something bad is gonna happen think of those as your ill omen and you won't really be far off down south it was a sandstorm I have no idea what it is up here so we are going to run like a little bunny rabbit back to that longhouse and everyone in the camp is free to do as they please come on we'll stick around outside until we figure out what's going on I don't think the sandstorm reaches all the way up here well it might here specifically let's go down into the uh, I should be able to make a, a run from the greener biome we would hope watch what on Hyboria is going to happen here I guess this earth one way or the other doesn't look good does not look good I guess maybe we are uh, free of the sandstorm's influence up here. I, I wouldn't complain. A little drink of water there. A little bit of our what little remains of our food. These highland berries come from bushes up here. Since I don't have any more insects, we'll use those. Hey, look at that. I think we survived. Maybe the, uh, either it's because we're on the border or maybe it's just different up here. Either way, that's pretty cool. So, now we're going to be going back into some more story territory and I don't know exactly what it means yet but I will show you this is a place that I believe is called the ruins of sanctuary let's head over there and take a look and that will probably be the end of our day here so we'll get our stamina back up and go for the climb oh, 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 oh. there we go okay so there was a journey step in here also to see what haunts this ruins And so far, the only thing that I could consider to be haunting is a message. So if you want to avoid story spoilers, this is the time to look away. And if you want to know, follow me. less than them. You can be free. You do not have to believe their lies. I have left these stones for you, my lost and misguided children. I have subverted their sorceries so that only slaves of the bracelet can hear my message. I am the mother of your race. I am secret bearer, god killer. Witch Queen, I will guide you, I will teach you, and when the time is right, I will free you. Alright, so I think that will draw an end to our episode. We are currently here at Talith's Island, or the Sanctuary Ruins. 
and I came up this way so I'm not entirely sure what's all going on over here and sometime we're gonna have to go back and explore more over here but that's uh, that's where we are so for the moment I would like to say thank you for watching I hope you found the video entertaining and maybe even just a little informative I would like to invite you to subscribe. Thank you kindly if you are already subscribed. I would also like to invite you to like and share if you so desire. And to ask you, above all, to please take care. <laughs>